Well, hey friends and welcome to WLC Kids Online. My name is Sarah and as always, I am so excited to be back with you for another day. We are continuing on in our series on relationships and I want you to think for a second, um, who is your best friend? Like we, we all have people that we really like to spend our time with. Um, my best friend's name is Sarah and we, uh, we've been friends our entire lives. And what I love about Sarah is, is being able to talk to her about what's going on in my life. She tells me what's going on in hers. Um, we go on adventures whenever we see each other. Um, it is so important to have those relationships in our world. And, and that's why around WLC, we say all the time that life is done better together. So we are, are continuing on with our relationship series. And you know, before we get any further, like I, I, I don't wanna ruin any of, of our Bible story stuff. So you know what, I, I think our Bible story today is, is about at least one relationship. Uh, so let's check in with our Bible story to see what we can learn about relationships today. Stories of the Bible, the prodigal son. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. So Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, um, excuse me? I want my share of your estate now, before you die. Okay. So his father agreed and gave his son his inheritance. A woohoo! A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings. See ya! And moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. Huh? About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land. Ah oh, man! And he began to starve. Hey, you! He convinced a local farmer to hire him. Thank you. And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the food he was feeding the pigs looked good to him, but no one gave him anything. Finally, he said to himself, at home even the servants have food enough to spare, and here I'm dying of hunger. I know. I will go home to my father and apologize and ask him to take me on as a servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. Sir! His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. All right, yeah! Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. Huh? 
Hey, you! And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Woohoo! All right! Party time! All right! Yahoo! The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him. Ah, oh, man! But he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after wasting your money, you celebrate by giving him a great feast. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. Okay, so our Bible story today was something that we call a parable. And, and a parable is a story that Jesus would tell uh, to help people learn better. And so the story that we saw today uh, was about a, a young man who uh, thought that, that life was better on his own. And, and so he, he left home, he took all of his inheritance, which is the money that he would get later in life, and, and he... Um, he went on to make some not great decisions, but we see in our story uh, that when he came back, what did the dad do? The dad forgave him. And, and so what we can learn about that is, is in our relationships today uh, that we should forgive people when they've hurt us. Now, that's not an easy thing to do. Um, I, I think it's a pretty hard thing to do. But when we forgive each other, um, we get better at, at relationships and we get better at loving each other. And we can also trust that no matter what we do, um, no matter how much we, we mess up, no matter how much we sin, which, fun fact, friends, we all, we all sin kind of a lot, um, but God promises us that he will always forgive us. And, and why will he forgive us? Because he sent his son to this earth to die for our sins. And so we are always forgiven no matter what. Now, we need to check in with, with Pastor Steve uh, to see what else he has for us today. So let's, let's watch this. I I'm going to get the title right, friends. Get it, got it, good. I think that's it. Let's check out this video now. This is Get It, Got It, Good with Pastor Steve. Get it? Got it. Good. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Bessos. And this is Get It? Got It? Good. Well, today we're gonna to be learning about forgiveness. Well, what is the forgiveness? Well, to forgive means to let go of your bad feelings towards a person for a mistake that they've made. Oh, oh, this is very good. I love the forgiveness because I make mistakes all the time. Oh, well, Bestos, we all do. And we all need to be forgiven for the mistakes we've made. Yes, yes. Just today, I made the mistake of running over a whole bunch of toy cars with my bike. Wait, where were these toy cars? In your house. Bestos, what were you doing in my house? Riding my bike. Bestos, you broke all my toy cars? Yes, this is why I'm here, to ask for the, um, the forgiveness. Okay, well, you know what, Bestos? What? I'm glad that you brought this up. I'm glad that you told me, and I'm glad that we were able to see the story of the prodigal son today, because we saw that the son wasted all of the father's money. But when the son came home, the father welcomed him home and even threw him a party. Ooh, I like the parties! <laughs> so do I. But the story reminds me of how much God has forgiven me for the mistakes that I've made. And it reminds me that even though I've made mistakes, God will always love me, just like the father loved the son. So, you know what, Bestos? Because of that, I will gladly forgive you. Oh, yay! Thank you, Mr. Pastor Steve. And is it time for a party now? Oh, yeah. I think we should throw a party. Yay! Good thing I brought up my party hat. Hold on one moment. Okay. Wow, Bestos. Where did you get all this great candy? From your kitchen. Look, I made you one, too. My kid. Oh, Bestos, this was my special birthday candy. Oh, well, um... But it's all gone now! Oh, come on.
Come on, man. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Will you please forgive me? Yes, Bestos, I forgive you. Thank you, thank you! Well, at least I get to have some of this great candy. Yay, yay! And, ooh, let's have a party! Woohoo! Hey, kids, remember, Jesus teaches us how to forgive others. He loves you so much, and God will always be there to forgive you when you make mistakes. So just as Jesus has forgiven us, we should forgive others. Get it? Got it! Good. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Party! Party! Uh-oh. So Bestos kind of broke a lot of Pastor Steve's things. Like, he, he ate all of his candy, he took his, his toys and, and ran over them. Uh, but how did Pastor Steve react? He, he forgave Bestos. And what we can learn from that is, is that no matter what we do, that God will always forgive us. And because of that, that we can go on and, and forgive those who hurt us. And, and that's a hard thing to do sometimes, but luckily we've got God who, who reminds us over and over again that we are forgiven and that we are called to forgive. So I am going to close us in prayer and then we have a worship song that we're gonna sing. So uh, if you would show me what prayer looks like, we've got our hands folded, our heads are bowed, and we are ready to talk to God. Dear God, thank you for today. And I thank you for your word that always reminds us to forgive the people in our lives. Um, remind us that you forgive us. And, and I thank you for being a God who always loves us and always forgives us. Um, please keep us safe. Help us to have fun. And, and again, thank you for loving us. And thank you for placing people in our lives. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, that's all I've got for you, friends. Uh, but we've been sitting for a while, so let's stand on our feet. Let's sing this song together, and then I will see you next week. Bye, friends. Let's sing big